say the dad was shot and killed in his car. This happened in the middle of a busy intersection in Orlando, Orange Blossom Trail and Colonial Drive. That's where News 6 reporter Nadine Giannis joins us now live. And Nadine, first, anything new from police on a possible suspect in this? Lisa, we aren't getting anything from police. No word on a possible shooter, no word on what even led up to it. All police would tell us is that it happened in this intersection here at Colonial and OBT, like you just said. And if you take a look, the car was found shot up with 28-year-old Travis Turner inside, right in the middle of the intersection, just next to these train tracks. His family here right after it happened. You can hear the heart-wrenching screams from the family yelling, let me see you, from overnight. Their agony mixed with disbelief. They're taking it very hard. That this young father, who they say is 28-year-old Travis Turner, was shot and killed after a night at the club. Whatever happened to him, it didn't have to happen. Orlando police today aren't saying anything about this murder or about a possible suspect, just saying that it happened around 2.30 this morning and that this investigation is ongoing. However, family tells News 6 today they believe someone in a dark car followed Turner from the club, pulled up beside him at this intersection, and fired five times. It was just saying he was coming from the club and someone killed him as he was trying to go home from the Wawa. When the sun came up and as the car was being towed away, you can see at least three bullet holes shattering the windows and sides. He was a sweet person, a kind hearted person. He don't do harm to nobody. And I don't understand why would someone just come and take his life. And so I literally just about a minute ago got a text from that cousin that we spoke to early this morning. She says that tonight at seven o'clock they're going to hold a vigil for Travis Turner. They say they're already making the funeral plans. They're going to hold that vigil right here at the spot where he was murdered early this morning. We're going to learn more about him and I'll tell you more what the family has to say about this tonight at five o'clock. Lisa, back to you. Nadine Yanis reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.